This afternoon, many across the country are concerned where they're going to get tested as cases surge. Here's CBS 13's Michael George. Merck released video of its manufacturing process to create a COVID-19 treatment pill that high-risk adults can take at home when they have no other options. The federal government has purchased 3 million doses, which should be shipped out by the end of January. The FDA authorized use of the drug a day after giving the same authorization for Pfizer's antiviral pill, Paxlovid, which has been found to significantly reduce the risk of hospitalization for those at risk of serious illness. All tools are on the table, uh, including the use of the Defense Production Act to get Pfizer the things they need to produce this antiviral as quickly as possible. But the most pressing concern right now for the White House is making more tests available. This was the long line of cars waiting at a test site in Lynn, Massachusetts, Thursday morning. It was the same situation in Fort Myers, Florida. The Biden administration says it's doing all it can to improve the situation. We're not where we need to be on testing. No one is saying we are. That's why we have tried to take additional uh, rapid steps and be as bold and ambitious as we can with the available supply that is on the market. Today, New York City announced it's scaling back New Year's Eve in Times Square, reducing the crowds from 58,000 to 15,000. And everyone will be required to show proof of vaccination and remain masked. Visitors also won't be allowed entry until 3 p.m., much later than previous years. Those who can't medically get vaccinated will be allowed to show a negative PCR test taken within 72 hours of New Year's Eve. Well, this afternoon, we are getting answers on who will be eligible to take the new Pfizer COVID pill. Well, you must be considered high risk, must be at least 12 years old or older, weigh at least 88 pounds and have tested positive for the virus. Health experts say the pills are not a substitute, though, for vaccines.